And in today's video, we're going to talk about pen holders. Hey there, Kim here from Kimligraphy. It's so nice to have you here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about pen holders. Now I get many messages asking me what pen holder should I use, which one is the best to use, and what are the differences. And today I just want to explain to you a little bit more about the different pen holders that you can get and what you can use. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What type of pen holders are there out there? There is your standard oblique pen holders and straight pen holders, right? They both do the same thing in helping you create your calligraphy. They're just used a little bit differently. Personally for me, I like to use the oblique pen holders where it has the flange on it already and it basically, when you insert your nib, it already is angled. So when you're writing, it gives you, a, I guess, a more natural slant without having to try too hard. And straight pen holders, uh, I guess you have to, it's a personal preference if you like to write more straighter great way to use it or you know you, some people just love to use a straight pen holder but slant their hands a little bit differently so that they're writing on a slant um, it really is a personal preference on what you choose to use for me it is the one and only obliques um, you know there are so many pen manufacturers out there and they all create something that does exactly what you want it to do and that's to do calligraphy um, they're just slightly different in the materials that they use in how this, they style their pen holders um, take for example here standard when i first started out it was the speedball great little nifty pen holder i guess when you're starting out the one thing i don't really like about it though is when you put your nib in like a nico g it's really not aligned nicely to how a nib should be placed into a pen holder. Much more better, I guess, for a smaller type of nib, but not so much for the beginner types of nibs like a Nico G. You have here your Moblique, which is a two-in-one pen holder where you can take the flange out and it becomes a straight pen holder. Put the flange back in and it becomes an oblique. It is also a little um, travel case for your nib here where you can open up the pen holder and put your nib in and close it back up and you know you don't have a lot of room in your luggage sticking those in there and that way you're carrying less luggage uh, here is one from yoke pen co where it's the same concept as the nico uh, sorry as the moblique where you can take i've actually done this a bit to type but you can take the flange out and it becomes a straight pen holder no carry compartment in this one this is a new pen holder that has come out from Tom Studio. As you can see here, the flange is a little bit different in terms of how it's been created to hold a nib. So it's got a screw instead of your regular flange, you know, that you can slot in. My personal favorite and all time favorite pen holder is this little Blackwell one here that you can get from John Neal Book. Um, this is the one I like to use. It has a little screw that you actually screw in with, you know, I use a little micro spatula or a little screwdriver. And then we have these pen holders which are called carrot pen holders and they're from Ash Bush store where she makes these and sells these. Um, these were actually my first two pen holders that I ever ever got and I just love them so much. I don't really use them anymore because the thickness of them isn't something that I prefer. I prefer I guess a thinner body on mine. And then we have this little straight pen holder, just available from a lot of calligraphy stores. I'm not really sure who the manufacturer is, unfortunately, but there's so many different types of pen holder and the best way to know, you know, which one you like is to try a couple. Just be very cautious when you're spending money on these pen holders. When you're starting out, you really don't want to go too high because you just never know if you're gonna like it or not. You know, you can get pen holders in three, four, five hundred dollars handmade pen holders. I always suggest with starting out with, you know, a Moblique or a Yoke Penco, or even if you're going up a little bit, then the John Neal Blackwell is really, really awesome. But like I was saying, be really careful when you're spending money because cheaper is not always better because sometimes the cheaper ones just don't have the flange adjusted on an angle that's proper for usage of calligraphy. So when you're putting your nib in, it's actually angled way off and it gives you, it just doesn't help you with your calligraphy. 
Thank you so much for joining me today to talk a little bit more about pen holders. I hope I've given you a little bit more information to make you less confused. Links to where you can buy all these pen holders will be in the description box below. So check it out and let me know what you think.